Hi, this is Anthony from carplaylife.com and today we'll be checking out the Carlin kit wireless CarPlay dongle 2.0. It's a wireless dongle for existing Apple CarPlay systems and today we'll be having a go at how to upgrade it by basically connecting your phone to the dongle uh, while it's on the internet and um, downloading the latest update. So let's give it a go. So the Carlin kit manual um, has a nice little QR code that your phone can scan so we're going to have a go at that or otherwise you can just type in this IP address 192.168.50.2 very similar if not the same as um, uh, the um, CarPlay to Air unit so we'll just basically take a photograph of this QR code Uh, and hopefully get the QR code. There you go there. So we've got to tap and go into Safari. It's the same website. So we have an update. We've scanned it in. We have an update available on the the browser after going in through the, the, the QR code or typing in the uh, IP address manually. You can see you've got the problem solved that media always freezes on dashboard so let's go for an update and uh, it applies the update from the internet downloading pretty rapid it's quite a small file and we're basically going to upgrade the system now uh, this will probably reset in a second once it starts applying it 90% 90% now So now the dongle has now come off from CarPlay. It'll probably start booting in a second. So we've got a, a flash of an upgrade failure, but now it says upgrade successful. The CarPlay unit should now be rebooting. You see it's gone from the menu. And then we're back into CarPlay, CarLink kit, dashboard, find my phone, connected, connecting. And we should be into CarPlay any second now. There we go. So if we just check, so the latest version is 20. 20.01.22 so this is probably 22nd of January has been an update since then 0.2233 uh, let's do another check for updates it's unlikely we are using the latest version so that's how you would check if you see this there's no other updates um, one issue with the CarPlay to Air dongle was um, the reverse parking so let's just try this and usually when I would come out of this uh, menu, um, the dongle wouldn't reinitialize. Re so let's try that. So you get a black screen like this. And now I don't think it will come back. So one way to change that and to rectify it is hitting the menu and basically going back into CarPlay and you're back in again. So. Like the other dongle, it's exactly the same, unfortunately. Um, that's one of the only issues that I've had with both um, CarPlay to Air and this Car Link It 2.0 dongle is this reverse uh, issue. So we'll, we'll test it a bit further and see how far, um, how much different it is. But generally I'm, I'm impressed so far and it's a, a little bit of an extra speed bump and um, it might offer some in increased support for people that I haven't been able to get the dongle working on their system. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.